All right, so we've been working on the equation of the line, but using different methods. The last video we did slope, um, um, slope intercept form. Here we're doing the point slope form. What does the point slope form mean? It means they give you a point, in this case, minus one, minus five, nine, and they give you the slope. Now remember the equation of a line, the formula for the equation of a line is y equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in this case, to write this equation, I already know the slope part. I already know the m part. The b is the part I do not know. So how do we um, execute that? The other thing they gave us is the x and the y information. So how about we throw in to this equation the x, the y, and also put in the slope, the m that we know, and then the b would be the only thing we don't know, and we could solve for that and then come back and rewrite the whole equation. What do I mean? So let's throw this minus 5 here. So it's minus 5 for the y equal to, for the m, the m is 9. Remember, m is 9. I put that there. The x, guys, is the x you have from this point right here, and then plus b. If you look at this math right now, we have minus 9, you have 5 there, plus b. You want the b by itself, so you're going to what? Add 9 on both sides. You're going to add 9 here, add 9 here, and this goes away. But over here, you now get 4. So we just found out that b is 4. Well, at this point, you're done, because all you have to do to write the equation of a line, given this information, is just to say y equal to, what's your m? Your m is 9. What's your, uh, what, your x? You just leave it at that, and then your b is 4. Yeah, we just found that over here. So you just plug that in there. Now, some of you may say, well, why aren't you putting in the x and the y? Why did you just put in the m and the b? Because to write the equation of a line, those are the two most important parts. We only put in the x and the y, this minus 1 and minus 5, in this initial setup to find that b. Normally, you don't plug in x and y information. You only plug in m and b information. We only plug in the x and y to help us find b. And the moment you do that, you don't need to plug them in again, like as we as we have here. We just have y and x because to write an equation, you must have y and x anyway. All right, so let's come over here and do the same thing. Again, we're using y equal to mx plus b. We know the x, we know the y, and we know the m. Okay, plug all those in here and solve for b. So let's do that. What's your y? 1 equal to, I'm plugging it into this equation up here. What's your m? Your m is 3 over 4. Remember, your m is your slope. And your x is this minus 4 here plus b. Okay? All right. So what we have now is, if you look at this math, one thing I want you to start getting used to, guys, is that things cancel out. Something at the bottom cancels something at the top. Technically, this minus 4 is over 1 if you just look at it. So this 4 goes into 4 one time. So this is like a negative one right there. So this is one equal to three times negative one plus b. Well, if you do that math, one, math, math, it's going to be one equal to minus three plus b there. And you want the b by itself. You want this b by itself. So you need to get rid of this minus three. So you add three on both sides. So this goes away. This is going to be four equal to b. Oh, wow. The, the b is four as well, just like this one. Uh, coincidental. All right, so let's finish this out. Um, so to write the equation of this line then based on the information we have, it's going to be y equal to, what is my m? My m is 3 over 4x. What's my b? Plus 4. So this is the equation for this information. For 41 here, it's it's slightly, it has, it's a little bit more complexity to this one. In this case, unlike in these first two equations questions I just showed you, this doesn't have a slope. It has points, but it doesn't have a slope. So we need to go find the slope first for this one. So the first thing you need to do is kind of draw this in a plane, kind of see where my slope is going to end up being. Okay, so we have something like that. And uh, the question is, what is your point? Your point is 3 minus 3, which is going to be somewhere here. 3 minus 3, okay. And the other point is minus three minus four five so minus four to the left and five up it's going to be here minus four five so this is what we have so if you look at this setup we can draw a line off of that let's draw a line to connect those two points so we have a line that looks like this this is how this graph looks and the question is asking hey find the equation draw, draw um, write the equation of this line well because i have that line drawn out i can go ahead and do my rise over run, which we talked about in the earlier video, in the previous video. Um, 
So what I want to do here is to find the slope of this. I want to do the rise of a run. Now you could do the rise of a run in so many different ways. You can draw your triangle different ways. I'm going to draw my triangle this way this time. So I'm going to go this way. Again, I'm trying to draw a right triangle. Remember, all you need to do is if you can draw a right triangle off of it, you can do the rise of a run. Now, what is this slope doing? Is it a positive slope or a negative slope? It is negative because if you look at it left to right, it is falling, it's coming down. So I know that my slope in this case is going to be a negative something, okay? Negative rise of a run. Rise is how far it's gone up, up, up and down. So if, how far has it got up and down? I need to look at the Y information because up and down is Y axis, right? So I look at the Y points of my coordinates. My Y points are what? Minus three to what? Five. Now, if you think about minus three to five, that is a total distance of eight. Now, some of you may look at that and say, that doesn't make sense. Isn't five plus minus three, two? The way you look at it is I am on the negative side of the border. Just think of this as a border, right? If you're on the negative three miles, if you're negative three miles from one border and you're going across the border to the other side, five miles, you will have traveled a total of eight across all, all, all up and down. So that's where the eight came from. So it's almost like you add three on the negative side and then five on the positive side for a total of eight distance. So let's look at the distance um, on the x-axis, um, the run. Remember, slope is rise of a run. For the run, you're going to look at the x information. So you're at minus four, all going all the way to uh, positive three, right? Because on the x information, it explains the run. Negative four all the way to positive three. That's a total distance of seven. So we know the slope here is negative eight over seven, okay? Now that we've done that, um, we need to go ahead and find the B, just like we did up here. So our work isn't done at all. So we need to go ahead and find the B. So there are two options for X and Y here. In this case, there's no great advantage. If one of these options had been all positive, I probably would have picked that, but both of them had have one negative in them. So I probably would pick this one. I'll probably use X and Y for this guy. All right, so let's... Um, jump right into it so actually now i think about it i probably i'll pick this one instead i'll pick this one instead it really doesn't matter i'll pick this one instead so my y equal to mx plus b my y is five my y is five equal to my m is negative eight over seven my um x is negative four actually one of the reasons i picked this one is because i recognize that my negative for m and negative for x will multiply and give me a positive this is why i switched to that so for those of you that are wondering that so plus b okay now i'm doing this so that i can find the b so i can eventually write my equation of a line okay so what is this going to give me five equal to there is this seven doesn't go into anything so this top is just going to be 32 over seven um eight times four is 32 yeah Okay, just checking. And this is plus B, right? So to find this B, I'm going to need to subtract negative, um, subtract 32 over 7 on both sides. So minus 32 over 7, minus 32 over 7. This goes away here. So what is my B now? My B is equal to 5 minus 32 over 7. Okay, for this one, you need a common denominator of 7. So if I put a 7 here, I have to multiply 7 here. So, right to get a common denominator so this ends up being 35 over 7 minus 32 over 7 okay um, whatever you do to the bottom you do to the top all right cool so what does this mean this means we end up with um, 35 minus 32 is 3 so it's 3 over 7 there okay all right so my b is 3 over 7 so let's finish our equation now we can say y equal to our b our m m slope is negative 8 7 x what's my b b is plus three over seven and this is your equation so um lots of moving parts there but can be done watch the video again these are concepts that if you master them and you practice them you do very well and you definitely want to do the practice quizzes i'm going to give you at the end of the this uh, particular chapter so to help you practice some more